So in this problem, we're told that a bacteria culture initially contains 100 cells and grows at a rate proportional to its size. After an hour, the population has increased to 540. And we're asked to find a bunch of things. We're asked to find the expression for the number of bacteria after t hours, find the number of bacteria after two hours, find the rate of growth after two hours, and then um, find when the population will reach 10,000. So in order to solve for the first part, there's a formula that you have to know. You have to know that y is equal to y sub 0 times e raised to the k times t. And so what we're going to do is use this as the basis, or this formula for the basis to solve this problem. And we're going to plug in our values into it. So what is y? y is going to be our new uh, number, so what the population has increased to, which is in this case is 540. So we're going to start it off with 540 is equal to y sub 0. So what's y sub 0? y sub 0 is just the initial amount that our um, bacteria culture contained. So it started with 100. So we just put 100 times e raised to the kt. So k is going to be the rate at which we're um, increasing, but we don't know that. It doesn't tell us. But it does tell us that this amount, we get 540 after one hour. So for t, we're going to put 1. So this is going to be the same thing as 1k, which is just k. And so in order to get our formula, what we need to do is solve for k. And so we can do that here. So we have this formula. What we want to do is solve for k. So what we want to do is just divide both sides by 100. So 540 divided by 100 is 5.4. And then equals uh, e to the k. And then so in order to get the k down here, what we can do is multiply both sides by the natural log. So we'll take the natural log of 5.4, or take the natural log of both sides, is equal to uh, the natural log of e to the k. And if you have the natural log of e to the k, uh, what you can do is, or just like um, something to an exponent, you can move the exponent out front. So this is going to be the same thing as ln of 5.4 to the k times the ln of e. And so the ln of e is just 1 because they cancel out. So we know that k is equal to the ln of 5.4. Now that we got k, we can just plug it into our formula and get the answer for a. So we know that y equals y sub 0. y sub 0 is our initial amount, which is 100, times e base to the k, which is ln of 5.4, um, times t. And so this is going to be our formula, but we can simplify it a little bit here again. So y equals 100. And then if you have e to the ln of a variable or a number, you can just move that variable down because these will cancel. So this same thing is 100 times 5.4 raised to the t. So that's going to be your answer for the first part here. Uh, 100 times 5.4 raised to the t. And so yeah, that's going to be your formula. I'm going to erase what we have on screen, and then we'll do number two. Uh, so actually, here we go. I'll rewrite it. ln or y equals 100 times 5.4 raised to the t. All right, cool. So now we want to find the number of bacteria after two hours. And so in order to do that, all we got to do is just plug in two into uh, for our t, our time variable, and then it'll just give us our valuable or our value. So if you take out your calculator and then you plug in 100 times 5.4 raised to the two, because that's the number of hours, uh, you should get uh, 2,916. And we don't need a round because it just comes out clean. So 2,916, that's going to be the answer for this part. And then for C, we're asked to find the rate of growth after two hours. So in order to find this, we're going to have to take the derivative of our function because they're asking for the rate of growth, and that's where the derivative is the rate of change. So what you want to do is just take your formula, y equals 100 times 5.4 to the t, and then we're going to differentiate both sides. So y prime is equal to, now we got to find the derivative of this. And so what we have here is a constant multiplied by um, some function. So it's just going to be 100 times the derivative of 5.4t. So how do we find the derivative of 5.4t? So if you have like a number raised to a variable, uh, its derivative is going to be equal to uh, the just the function right here. So 5.4 to the t times the derivative of your um, variable exponent, which in this case is just 1. Uh, so we don't really need to write that. And then we got to multiply it by the ln of our base, so the ln of 5.4. So yeah, this is five, the derivative of 5.4 to the t is equal to 5.4 to the t times the ln of 5.4. So we can write, you write that right here, 5.4 to the t times the ln of 5.4. All right, and then now all we got to do is just plug in 2, and then that'll, that'll give us our answer. So if you take out your calculator and then you plug in 
uh, 2 for t, you'll get 100 times 5.4 raised to the 2 times the ln of 5.4. Then when you do that, you should get uh, 4917.539, and it goes on. But we're asking to round us to the nearest whole number. And so when we round this, since we have a 5 here, this will become an 8. So this is just going to be 4918. And so that's going to be the answer to this part. So there we go. And then now the for D, we're asked to find the population uh, when it reaches 10,000. So all we got to do is just take our equation and set it equal to this number, 10,000. Then we're going to solve for T because they're asking us when the population, so the number of hours after. So we have 10,000 is equal to 100 times 5.4 to the t. So what we want to do first is just divide both sides by 100. This is going to cancel. And then 10,000 divided by 100 is just going to be 100. So that equals 5.4 to the t. And then we're solving for t. So what we can do is take the natural log of both sides. So the ln of 100 is equal to the ln of 5.4 to the t. And then remember how I talked about earlier, we can move the t out front. So that's what we're going to do here. So it's just going to become t times the ln of 5.4. Then if we divide both sides by the ln of 5.4, we will get t by itself. And so now that we've got that, all we got to do is just plug it into our calculator. So the ln of 100 divided by the ln of 5.4 is equal to t. And so if you go ahead and do that in your calculator, you'll get that t is equal to 2.730 and so on. Uh, but all we got to do is round to the one decimal place. And so if we round this, uh, since 3 is not bigger than 5, we just leave it. So it's just going to be 2.7. So that part will be 2.7. And so these are going to be the answers to this question.